The Tibeto Burman languages are the non Sinitic members of the Sino Tibetan language family, over 400 of which are spoken throughout the highlands of Southeast Asia as well as certain parts of East Asia and South Asia. Around 60 million people speak Tibeto Burman languages, around half of whom speak Burmese, and 13% of whom speak Tibetic languages. The name derives from the most widely spoken of these languages, namely Burmese over 32 million speakers and the Tibetic languages over 8 million. These languages also have extensive literary traditions, dating from the 12th and 7th centuries respectively. Most of the other languages are spoken by much smaller communities, and many of them have not been described in detail. Some taxonomies divide Sino-Tibetan into Sinitic and Tibeto-Burman branches e.g. Benedict, Matisov. However, other scholars deny that Tibeto-Burman comprises a monophyletic group. Van Dream argues that the Sino-Tibetan family should be called Tibeto-Burman, but this usage has not been widely adopted. Others exclude a relationship with Chinese altogether e.g. Beckwith, R. A. Miller. History During the 18th century, several scholars noticed parallels between Tibetan and Burmese, both languages with extensive literary traditions. In the following century, Brian Houghton Hodgson collected a wealth of data on the non-literary languages of the Himalayas and Northeast India, noting that many of these were related to Tibetan and Burmese. Others identified related languages in the highlands of Southeast Asia and Southwest China. The name, Tibeto-Burman, was first applied to this group in 1856 by James Logan, who added Karen in 1858. Charles Forbes viewed the family as uniting the Gangetic and Lohitic branches of Max Muller's Turanian, a huge family consisting of all the Eurasian languages except the Semitic, Aryan, Indo-European and Chinese languages. The third volume of the Linguistic Survey of India was devoted to the Tibeto-Burman languages of British India. Julius Klaproth had noted in 1823 that Burmese, Tibetan and Chinese all shared common basic vocabulary, but that Thai, Mon and Vietnamese were quite different. Several authors, including Ernst Kuhn in 1883 and August Conradi in 1896, described an Indo-Chinese family consisting of two branches, Tibeto-Burman and Chinese Siamese. The Thai languages were included on the basis of vocabulary and typological features shared with Chinese. Jean Perzaluski introduced the term Sino-Tibetan as the title of his chapter on the group in Antoine Meillet and Marcel Cohen's Les Langues du Monde in 1924. The Thai languages have not been included in most Western accounts of Sino-Tibetan since the Second World War, though many Chinese linguists still include them. The link to Chinese is now accepted by most linguists, with a few exceptions such as Roy Andrew Miller and Christopher Beckwith. More recent controversy has centered on the proposed primary branching of Sino-Tibetan into Chinese and Tibeto-Burman subgroups. In spite of the popularity of this classification, first proposed by Kuhn and Conradi, and also promoted by Paul Benedict 1972, and later James Matisoff, Tibeto-Burman has not been demonstrated to be a valid family in its own right. Overview Most of the Tibeto-Burman languages are spoken in inaccessible mountain areas and many are unwritten, which has greatly hampered their study. It is generally much easier to identify a language as Tibeto-Burman than to determine its precise relationship with other languages of the group. The subgroupings that have been established with certainty number several dozens, ranging from well-studied groups of dozens of languages with millions of speakers to several isolates, some only newly discovered but in danger of extinction. These subgroups are here surveyed on a geographical basis. <laughs> Southeast Asia and Southwest China The southernmost group are the Karen languages, spoken by three million people on both sides of the Burma-Thailand border. They differ from all other Tibeto-Burman languages except Bai in having a subject-verb-object word order, attributed to contact with Thai Kadai and Austroasiatic languages. The most widely spoken Tibeto-Burman language is Burmese, the national language of Myanmar, with over 32 million speakers and a literary tradition dating from the early 12th century. 
It is one of the Lolo Burmese languages, an intensively studied and well defined group comprising approximately 100 languages spoken in Myanmar and the highlands of Thailand, Laos, Vietnam, and southwest China. Major languages include the Loloish languages, with 2 million speakers in western Sichuan and northern Yunnan, the Akka language and Hani languages, with 2 million speakers in southern Yunnan, eastern Myanmar, Laos and Vietnam, and Lisu and Lahu in Yunnan, northern Myanmar and northern Thailand. All languages of the Loloish subgroup show significant Austroasiatic influence. The Pai Lang songs, transcribed in Chinese characters in the first century, appear to record words from a Lolo Burmese language, but arranged in Chinese order. The Tibeto Burman languages of southwest China have been heavily influenced by Chinese over a long period, leaving their affiliations difficult to determine. The grouping of the Bai language, with one million speakers in Yunnan, is particularly controversial, with some workers suggesting that it is a sister language to Chinese. The Nashi language of northern Yunnan is usually included in Lolo Burmese, though other scholars prefer to leave it unclassified. The hills of northwestern Sichuan are home to the small Chianjic and Argyalrangic groups of languages, which preserve many archaic features. The most easterly Tibeto Burman language is Tujia, spoken in the Wuling Mountains on the borders of Hunan, Hubei, Guizhou, and Chongqing. Two historical languages are believed to be Tibeto Burman, but their precise affiliation is uncertain. The Pyu language of central Myanmar in the first centuries is known from inscriptions using a variant of the Gupta script. The Tangut language of the 12th century Western Sha of northern China is preserved in numerous texts written in the Chinese inspired Tangut script. Tibet and South Asia Over 8 million people in the Tibetan Plateau and neighboring areas in Baltistan, Ladakh, Nepal, Sikkim and Bhutan speak one of several related Tibetic languages. There is an extensive literature in classical Tibetan dating from the 8th century. The Tibetic languages are usually grouped with the smaller East Bodish languages of Bhutan and Arunachal Pradesh as the Bodish group. Many diverse Tibeto-Burman languages are spoken on the southern slopes of the Himalayas. Sizable groups that have been identified are the West Himalayish languages of Himachal Pradesh and Western Nepal, the Tamanjic languages of Western Nepal, including Tamang with one million speakers, and the Kuranti languages of Eastern Nepal. The remaining groups are small, with several isolates. The Nuar language Nepal Basa of central Nepal has a million speakers and a literature dating from the 12th century, and nearly a million people speak Maguric languages, but the rest have small speech communities. Other isolates and small groups in Nepal are Dura, Raji Raut, Chepingich and Demolish. Lepcha is spoken in an area from eastern Nepal to western Bhutan. Most of the languages of Bhutan are Bodish, but it also has three small isolates, Ol, Black Mountain Manpa, Lapu and Gongdik and a larger community of speakers of Shangla. The Tani languages include most of the Tibeto-Burman languages of Arunachal Pradesh and adjacent areas of Tibet. The remaining languages of Arunachal Pradesh are much more diverse, belonging to the small Cyanjic, Ko Bwa or Kamenjic, Russo, Miju and Digoro languages or Mishmic groups. These groups have relatively little Tibeto-Burman vocabulary, and Bench and Post dispute their inclusion in Sino-Tibetan. The greatest variety of languages and subgroups is found in the highlands stretching from northern Myanmar to northeast India. Northern Myanmar is home to the small Nungish group, as well as the Jingfo Luish languages, including Jingfo with nearly a million speakers. The Brahmaputran or Sal languages include at least the Bodo Garo and Kanyak languages, spoken in an area stretching from northern Myanmar through the Indian states of Nagaland, Meghalaya, and Tripura, and are often considered to include the Jingfo Luish group. The border highlands of Nagaland, Manipur, and western Myanmar are home to the small Ao, Angami Poshori, Tankulik, and Zim groups of languages, as well as the Karbi language. Maithay, the main language of Manipur with 1.4 million speakers, is sometimes linked with the 50 or so Kuki Chin languages are spoken in Mizoram and the Chin state of Myanmar. The MRU language is spoken by a small group in the Chittagong Hill tracts between Bangladesh and Myanmar. Classification 
There have been two milestones in the classification of Sino-Tibetan and Tibeto-Burman languages, Schaefer and Benedict which were actually produced in the 1930s and 1940s respectively. Schaefer Schaefer's tentative classification took an agnostic position and did not recognize Tibeto-Burman, but placed Chinese Sinitic on the same level as the other branches of a Sino-Tibetan family. He retained Tai Kadai within the family, allegedly at the insistence of colleagues, despite his personal belief that they were not related. Sino-Tibetani. Sinidichi. Question mark question mark. Daisi. Bodic. A. Bodish Gurung, Shangla, Gaing, Tibetic. B. West Himalayish INCL. Thangmi, Baram, Raji Raut. C. West Central Himalayish Magar, Cheping, Heyu, misplaced. D. East Himalayish E. Nuarish F. Digerish G. Midzuish H. Harush I. Demalish J. Missingish K. Dzorgaishiv, Burmic a. Burmish B. Marush C. Nungish D. Katsinish Jingfo E. Cyrelish F. Luish G. Taman H. Kukish, Barak A. Barish B. Nigashvi, Karenik Topic Benedict 1972 A very influential, although also tentative, classification is that of Benedict 1972, which was actually written around 1941. Like Schaefer's work, this drew on the data assembled by the Sino-Tibetan Philology Project, which was directed by Schaefer and Benedict in turn. Benedict envisaged Chinese as the first family to branch off, followed by Karen. Sino-Tibetan Chinese Tibeto Karen Karen Tibeto Burman Tibeto Burman family is then divided into seven primary branches: I Tibetan Kanori, aka Bodish Himalayish, A Bodish Tibetic, Gyarung, Takpa, Sangla, Murmi, and Gurung, B Himalayish I. Major Himalayish E. Minor Himalayish Rankas, Dharmia, Chadong C, Biang C, perhaps also Dzorgai, Lepcha, Magari too. Baing Vayu A Baing Sunuwar, Kaling B Kambu Sampang, Rungchenbing, Yaka, and Limba C Vayu Cheping, perhaps also Nuar 3. Abor Miri Dafla perhaps also aka, Digoro, Miju, and Demol I V. Kachin perhaps including Luish V. Burmese Lolo A Burmese Maru B Southern Lolo C Northern Lolo D Canbury Lawa E Moso F Shi Fan Chianjik and Gyaranjik languages apart from Chang and Gyarung themselves G Tangit perhaps also Nung V. Bodo Garo A Bodo B Garo A Chik C Boric Tripuri Toipra D Dimasa E Mek F Rava Coke G Tiwa Lalung H Sutia I Serenia J Sanawal perhaps also Naked Naga aka Konyak 7. Kuki Naga, aka Kukish, perhaps also Karbi, may they, Mru. Topic Matisov, nineteen seventy eight. James Matisov proposes a modification of Benedict that demoted Karen but kept the divergent position of Sinitic. Of the seven branches within Tibeto-Burman, two branches Baic and Karenic have SVO order languages, whereas all the other five branches have SOV order languages. Sino-Tibetan Chinese Tibeto-Burman Tibeto-Burman is then divided into several branches, some of them geographic conveniences rather than linguistic proposals. Kamarupan geographic Kuki Chin Naga geographic Abor Miri Dafla Bodo Garo Himalayish geographic Mahakaranti includes Nuar, Magar, Karanti Tibeto Kanori includes Lepcha Chianjik Jingfo Nungish Luish Jingfo Nungish Luish Lolo Burmese Nashi Karenic Baic Tujia in classified Matisov makes no claim that the families in the Kamarupan or Himalayish branches have a special relationship to one another other than a geographic one. 
They are intended rather as categories of convenience pending more detailed comparative work. Matisoff also notes that Jingfo Nungish Luish is central to the family in that it contains features of many of the other branches, and is also located around the center of the Tibeto Burman speaking area. Bradley 2002. Since Benedict 1972, many languages previously inadequately documented have received more attention with the publication of new grammars, dictionaries, and wordlists. This new research has greatly benefited comparative work, and Bradley 2002 incorporates much of the newer data, i. Western equals Bodic A. Tibetan Kanori I. Tibetic E. Gurung E. East Bodic INCL Sangla I V Kanori B Himalayan I Eastern Karanti E Western Nuar Cheping Magar Thangmi Baram 2 Sal A Barak Bodo Garo Northern Naga B Jingpa C Luish INCL PYU D Kuki Chin INCL May they and Karbi 3 Central, perhaps a residual group, not actually related to each other. Lepcha may also fit here. A. Adi Gallo Mishing Nishi. B. Mishmi, Digerish and Kiman. C. Rawangi. Northeastern. A. Chianjik. B. Nashi Bai. C. Tujia. D. Tangu TV. Southeastern. A. Burmese Lolo. INCL. MRU. B. Karen Topic Van Dream George Van Dream rejects the primary split of Sinitic, making Tibeto-Burman synonymous with Sino-Tibetan. Topic Matisoff 2015 The internal structure of Tibeto-Burman is tentatively classified as follows by Matisoff 2015, XXXII, 1123-1127 in the final release of the Sino-Tibetan Etymological Dictionary and Thesaurus Northeast Indian Aerial Group North Assam Tani Deng Kuki Chin Naga Aerial Group Central Naga Ao Group Angami Poshori Group, Zim Group, Tankulik, Maythe, Makir, Karbi, Mru, Sal, Bodo Garo, Northern Naga, Kanyakian, Jingfo Asakian, Himalayish, Tibeto Kanori, Western Himalayish, Bodic, Lepcha, Tamangish, Dimal Nuar Kuranti Kam Magar Cheping Tangat Chang Tangat Chianjik Argyal Ranjik Nungach Tujia Lolo Burmese Nashi Lolo Burmese Nashi Karenic Bai Other languages The classification of Tujia is difficult due to extensive borrowing. Other unclassified Tibeto-Burman languages include Basim and the recently described Lamo language. New Tibeto-Burman languages continue to be recognized, some not closely related to other languages. Recently recognized distinct languages include Koki Naga. Randy Lapola proposed a rung branch of Tibeto-Burman, based on morphological evidence, but this is not widely accepted. Scott Delancey 2015 proposed a central branch of Tibeto-Burman based on morphological evidence. Roger Blench and Mark Post 2011 list a number of divergent languages of Arunachal Pradesh, in northeastern India, that might have non-Tibeto-Burman substrates, or could even be non-Tibeto-Burman language isolates Kamenjik Bagoon Koa May of Shurgan May of Rupa Sartang 
Chug and Lish Northern Mishmi Digerish IDU Luba Teron Digeru Cyanjic Koro Milong Peroik Suling East Coming District Russo aka Trezino Circle West Coming District Miji Sajolang Demai Demai Mijublench and Post believe the remaining languages with these substratal characteristics are more clearly Sino-Tibetan East Bodish Mayor Zakring Monpa of Tawang, Tawang District Monpa of Kalaktong Shangla Monpa of Zemithang Monpa of Mago Thingbu Tani, Na See also Proto-Tibeto-Burman language Vocabulary lists of mainland Southeast Asian languages Notes <laughs>